them today. That's like the perfect brightness right and here. And I'm gonna show you how a person can take their biworm and clean it. These are the little watering pieces. I had a bad one. Company sent me a new one. Just had to contact them and let them know and it was still under warranty. They sent it to me immediately. So there you go, that's gonna go in. I'm excited. The thing you have to remember is that it's plugged in. And so I'm just gonna pull the plug out like that and lay it across the table. It's okay. not as heavy as you would expect and I'm very short. You are very small. Full of soil and water. And I'm just going to, where is my cord, Ashley? Right, oh, it's on right the, here, it's right by my arm. So I'm gonna take it and put it on a stand that I have for a table so it can go potty. Um, I don't know why it's not doing the same thing as before. I set it right on there before. What is, looks different? Does it have a slot? It doesn't. You, you probably set it cross-hatched on Okay. It? Hello, it's me, your plant mom, here. We are taking care of my mom's biorb. Right, oh gosh. We're taking, I'm sorry if you spin. I lost a screw. So it just like goes in a, in a circle. We're taking the weeds out. I will vacuum it. And are you sure these aren't like plants that I no, should save? No, these are okay. weeds. These are their pods. And so there's little they seeds. Grow out of the moss? Yeah, basically we're taking care of my mom's biorp. We're gonna plant a bunch of new plants in it and make it look really nice again. Right now it's kind of being taken over by this begonia metacroa and then a couple little things as well. Yeah, we're gonna film us like, Basically. Oh, first of all, I just want to show making the dirty water go out. Oh yeah, I want to I want to drain it. And so you can open it if any water is loose in there. But there's a little. And there is. There you go. It has to be tipped. That I think is the. But no, nope, it should just come out. It should not have to be tipped. There's just not a lot in there. Let me tip it just to make sure. You hold it there. Yep, I got it. You got the this. I got it. That smells bad. So There's not anything party. in there. There's nothing. I don't know I if it's right. I wish you could take off this part so bad. I thought. Oh, what? Yeah. Huh, okay, well, that makes my life and job a lot easier. These just came off. I don't know what they go to. Oh, they're, they're just little um, protectors for the inside. Right? So here's our bio. Okay. This is what we're starting with. We're gonna go be doing this fast because we gotta do D&D &D with my brother tonight, okay? D&D. &D. Okay. So here's our bio. -orb. What we're going to be doing, the goal is we're going to be minimizing this metacroa. We're going to be relocating a few plants and we're gonna be adding a few plants as well. We're gonna be getting rid of these weeds. These are just weeds that are just loose in here. And I recently got rid of um, twice as many. Yeah, so, mom you know, got rid of a lot. It was full of the trans. You have some lightning orchid pups that are happening. We're nice. gonna make those look good. Yeah. And mushrooms. Mushrooms keep growing in here and they have a lifespan of about a two days, and yeah. then they disappear. I don't know what's happening. They're pretty funny things. We just have to do just this Just know I have final say on yeah. what comes out and what, what doesn't, just because I feel... Yeah, this is your thing. I feel But we're taking the weeds out. Because I care for these lovingly. This is the thing I spend the most time on in, in terms of... Oh, wait. Nope, this is bad. Um, hold on, just before you take something out, I have a gardenia in there. Where? Right next to where you were grabbing. That's why I said, oh, be careful. This gardenia? That, that's a gardenia. Okay. Yep, sounds good. I don't know if it can live in there or not, but I planted it. Right. I just had to be really careful when I was cutting it originally because I couldn't tell what it's it was growing. attached to. It's growing, you should put to. it in water. Well, look at that. We're gonna save any living thing. Okay, so here's my big thing is this metacroa is just so big. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it a lot and mom's gonna actually grow it. So the so cool how thing, we propagate them? the cool thing is that, so begonias you can actually propagate from a petiole or the stem, which is also known as the rhizome. That's a little tran, oh, that's cute. Dad, look, this one's all like rooted in there. So I'm cutting off this little leaf of this dude. Uh, we're gonna propagate it, but it's just taking up a lot of space. It looks really ugly, especially now that we have a lot of little guys going out from that same spot. I'm really hoping you guys are able to like see this pretty well. I'm gonna try closing this door again. I'm trying to give you the best life possible here. It's just difficult. I feel like a lost child. I don't feel like I'm I'm allowed to cut any of this until she gets back, even though she told me it's okay. This trend to scan should be, it's like all over. Oh, Jeannie, me, you got It's two. just tangled, I actually took four. Okay, this just, is the front, just so you know. Yeah. I feel like here. we took the Look front part Look at this, do you see these? These yep, are each their gorgeous. own individual plants. Show the camera, that's so pretty. We're almost there. 
the sleeve. So I can put these in water, or do I have to yes, put them in soil? You can put them or in water. They'll just keep growing in the regular. You could grow this air. in full water. But they don't have to live in a bio orb. This particular one I do not think does because now it is so mature. If you're curious, this is the rhizome. These are your petioles. You can propagate begonia with just the leaf, like literally just the leaf, as long as it has the sinus. The petiole, well, no, because sometimes if it has these main veins, you can propagate begonias, these main ones, um, or the petiole, or the rhizome right here. Train it, whatever we do, you wanna prop it with maybe with a rock to make it go this way and to the back. Had I realized at the beginning, I would have put it in the back. Yeah, I didn't expect this, honestly, mom, to get this big. <laughs> here we go. All right. Oh my gosh, we can That's, see again. That's literally Look at so this, much. All of this. What is this called again? Begonia metacroa. And so okay. now, now we have a lot of space. I think I need another pot. Look at, we filled this whole pot yeah, up. Literally, that is all begonia metacroa. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here's what we have left. A and lot. you guys can see here's the stalk and the stem. And I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move it. You're just gonna leave him there? Not unless you think that. Well, it's cute because it hangs down like this. I mean, you can prop him up with a rock. I don't know what to do, but that's oh, it's that's... like I, I don't want to dig it out because, right. like you said, the the roots. So now you can kind of see the other plants in here. Finally, there. It's been just. Should I clean this off a bit? So I was thinking we'll clean at the a end. Better. Look at that pink princess. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm I know we were filming it. from the other angle, but we're gonna film from this angle. Now. And I also. Not knowing what we knew before, I want, is this the orchid? Yeah. Okay, so that's so big, and it has literally not been seen. Well, I don't know if I should move it because it's so established and so nice and strong. I have the micans in there, and it's just kind of doing its thing. This so you want to move this orchid, It needs right? more soil. Well, that was my question that I was asking, is I've got this thing. I actually, not in love with this the or that one. Have. I don't know if we would rather leave outside. them in. Um, I, think it, I think it should come out. I don't like them. I would rather put something else in that really would do well in here than those. They didn't stay pink, so I don't have any love for it. Just air plants, little, little bromeliad so guys. Take them out, and then we'll put some soil, and then here's we'll, the begonia. It, I don't know what it is. If anybody knows, it's one of Joe's. You had it was a really no, big, it and then it was a little cutting I had from somewhere from something. Mm -hmm. So this is what? Another Clarifalis. Is that an orchid? Yeah. Okay. Let's get this leaf out from. We the just seeds. need to. This this orchid right here is doing great. It's growing. Um, yeah, I just took out all your little leaves. Okay, cool. I think that looks. That's like a good cleaned out. It's much better than it was, and this is going to be propped up with something. Yeah. So, so here's my plan. I'll kind of I think. So this is Gonium. So we got this uh, red, red tricolor syngonium. And just check them for bugs because I haven't looked at them. Yeah, I already checked. We wouldn't have bought them if they had bugs. I mean, since we brought them home. I think we need to put this in the back because it's gonna get big. Great. Like this is gonna if get super big. If it's gonna get big, big, let's. If you know it's gonna get big, and let's this, play. I think we should put around the front. I was thinking we pot it right and on the side. Trail it. Because it's it, this is a okay. viner. Will it just stay low? Yeah, it's just gonna stay low. So it'll go around this. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just gonna put some a little bit of extra LECA in here, and I'm gonna put some fresh. Look soil. at how much better it already looks. This is such a pretty pink princess. I didn't pull anything out, but I shouldn't, did I? Nope. That's literally so pretty. It, it is exciting and surprising. Okay. I want to be able. See this better, but I can't we can move unroot it. it at this point. We I don't just, have to unroot it. Watch. I think it's going to keep going up now. So now you can add a little soil. I also wanted to add some soil because it just, to me, adds fresh um, life and and fresh stuff like in there for the bugs to eat. I like, like it how to go. Looks? It's small right Low. now. It's it's gonna grow. So this is. I don't want it to overwhelm this. I wouldn't be able to see that. Okay. Nice. And I will. Good. So now he's planted. Oil. Okay. That looks really good right there. That's really pretty. Do we need to spray it with anything? No. Um, 
go like this. Make him go forward. Yeah, no, so he's gonna naturally do that because of the leg. He has a broken leg, remember, from falling. Yeah, so that one isn't gonna. Day. That one isn't gonna really do what you want. But you can go ahead and dump that soil in the back. I'm the soil dumper. <laughs> you can do another one. I put the soil in. <gasps> ah, it's a friend. Look. Did we find a friend? A friend. Oh, don't lose him here. Let no, him go I into this. So, 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 Let him go in here. I, I caught him. You caught him. He's so happy. Look at your friend. Which one is he? I don't remember. Oh, okay, there we go. He's alive. I'm so glad to see him alive. Yeah, one. you're not supposed to see him. If you see him, well, I have never him. seen. Him. I haven't seen him since I bought him. So. Okay, cool. I have another. He's like, hey, dude, what you doing to my to my house? Yeah, he got scooped out. Okay, we have our bap a -dap, baby at a bap. So this Look is, I'm gonna send this to Christiana actually. Oh, yes, yes it's a BB. Christiana purse. and I are actually really good friends now. So this came from at Volutinark on Instagram. This is Christiana's plant, it came from her, and we still have it, it's still alive. And this is mom's first propagation in like years. So will it kind of grow up and in and through? I don't know. It's what, vining. I don't know so, how it will actually grow in there, but it'll be cute. Maybe right here then. Okay. Okay. What I'm digging all we're gonna a hole. do is stick it in there. We're That's just gonna exciting. Okay, I have dug a hole. <laughs> I have a baby ant. And it's a top cut, so it it's got a new leaf coming in. Yeah. Well, it's got a top. That's the cat fell. So will it? It's not. It's not yet pregnant, but that's where it will put out new growth from. They pinch really easy. Yeah, Let's leave the rest. I don't want to stress it out anymore. Cute. Stay good. Okay, put your arm. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's all. I just wanted to be cool looking right there. Okay, okay careful. Well, you're starting to get. There you go. You're encroaching on Soily Mutata right there. <laughs> Soily Mutata? That's his name. But go ahead, okay. Soily Mutata. So, what are we putting right here? Space? Nothing. He's gonna grow there. Okay. So that's empty space. Yep. And then we have the out of up right back there. Yep, he's right there. This is gonna be kept small from now on because I understand how it works. Yes, yeah, so you can trim it. And I'm gonna put some more soil there yep. I'll put underneath soil the front. front of him. can even put another rock there if it helps yeah, this to rock put is, like another rock right in front of that rock. That rock is gone. <laughs> what I'm worried about is maybe this needs to have that one leaf out of its way. It's just, I hate it's to just, take off that big leaf, but... What leaf? That one? This one yeah, just we keeps getting in his way. Yeah, just rip it off. Okay. Put him in the water. The, the one that's in the fire? Yeah. It's just so healthy, wow. It's just like so good. You guys, I just need you to appreciate that leaf, okay? Like, that leaf right there is top tier. It is so good. Like, this, this pink princess is so happy. Your other ones are so upset at you. And this one just thrives because it just has just enough humidity to like be a person. Here's what it's looking like. Yeah. Um, any pl rare plants you buy from rare plant stores, you can always just stick in here. Okay. Oh, you made liquid art. I made liquid That's liquid art, liquid you guys. I'm Use code plant for 25 to get 25% off your entire order. It's so worth it, Ashley. It lasts forever. It's so easy to use. You don't have and... to convince me. All right, so we just took this propagation from my mom's pink princess. We're going to be just popping it in there. It just doesn't grow very fast. You can see like it's got this leaf that just doesn't want to kind of come out. So. We made some, a hard decision. Yeah, so we're gonna be sticking it um, just like, I think right in the front. And then we actually are gonna be putting this guy. Uh, this is a cream splash. This is also from Christiana. And this is gonna be going up the back. And I think it's gonna look really nice. It doesn't grow pretty much at all right now. So it's gonna do a lot better actually in the humidity situation. We'll before now. If you didn't know, my parents live in Arizona and they have like next to no humidity here at here. all. So where's he gonna go? You're just gonna spot I thought we were supposed to leave these out for a while. No, you're, no, if you put them in water, but not if you put them in dirt. Okay. So you're just gonna stick him right in the front, just right in there. You don't even have to make a hole. You can just poke him in. Mm, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna give him it looks so much better in there now. So you can add more soil if you how want. How do I? Should I? Do you want me to do it? You seem stressed. 
I, I am. Would you like to stick him right here next to the other pink princess instead? No, I like to have him multi spots. I'll just put a little more soil in now that I moved this new soil over. No, I'm excited to see what happens when I look at him every morning to see the new growth. And That's such way. a pretty plant, you guys look at it. Oh my gosh. Is it okay there? I think it looks great. Will it hit this or will it just figure out what It's gonna goes? go up towards the light. It's gonna go towards the light. That looks okay. really good, Mom. All right. All right, you ready? Where's he going? He's gonna go in the back. Now what? Look right. at that, it's just roots, basically. <laughs> yeah, so here's <laughs> our- Look this long hair. I think it would be really pretty. Will it stay low to the ground? Yeah, and then it'll grow up. Hold on. I'm gonna cut those. I don't wanna okay. break him. You guys, look at these roots. They're so good. It's free. Right. So My bamboo is strong for another day. Here's our plant. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so here's my thought. Okay, I don't think. forget I have this pretty shell. So here's the thing. With roots like this, you don't <laughs> actually need to bury them. You can actually lay them around the side. I don't want to look at them. Okay, so I'd we'll do our best. Then. But here's my, so hold on. See it perfect. So you're going to make a little hole. Red stem. Perfect. So now add some soil. Okay. One more. Just move it a little bit right here. And then can I prop my my shell in the back if I put some soil for it to sit up high on? Like the shell right there, I wanted it to be more visible. So if I put, oh yeah, I like my shell. And it does need to look, so much. it does need to look a little sparse. Yeah, sparse. No, I like it because it's got to grow in. And I feel like it's and really balanced. My pep, is this? This is a peperomia. That is begonia right. contrafolia. The one with the red dot in the middle. Begonia contrafolia. I, I was worried it was never gonna live. Does it have a dead one or it's coming, coming out? Long? That's it's just made such a comeback. It yeah. really, really rallied. Okay, water. Cool, yeah, water and then that's it. Oh, right. and then the bugs. The bugs. Can't forget the bugs. I think it looks really good. But that is just me. It's so pretty now. I'm excited. I'm more excited about it now than I was before. Well you got a lot cooler plants in it now. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, it looks really good. Hello. You look like a lost deer. She just wants to know who is gonna be the one to throw her ball at us. You did a good job, Ashley. I couldn't have done it without you. I wouldn't have been able to make cuts. You're so good at being able to make those decisions and I appreciate you. Thanks. But so these are dwarf white isopods. I don't see any in there. You're not they're, supposed to mess right with there. it. There they are. See one? There's one. <laughs> There's a bunch of them there in there. There he is, but there he goes. Yep. You can put the carrots in These there. These are the kind of bugs you want. You should put them right there. Okay, right here. Right there. With their food. And you can just shake the cup out. Should I just leave it like that? Yep. Okay, oh I'm worried. Should I put a little bit of this in there and dump it in and in case they I have a lost There they go. <gasps> there they go. Hello, my friends. They're gonna eat all the trash. Look at them go. Did I miss any? Um, I would just put some water in there, switch it around. That's what Joe does. This is not and a swishing cup from swish. the dentist's office. Just a swish a little bit. And then dump it out. Yeah. Nice. That was the dwarf white. Okay. Yep. And now we're going to release the spring. Oh, the These zebras. Ones. The zebras. Nice. Okay. We'll put them in the same spot. What about in, this, in the back corner over Ooh, here? Sorry. What about in the back corner? No? Uh, you gotta put them somewhere you can easily get them out. This is the best spot right I'm gonna here. get them out? What do you, oh, look at those guys go. Yeah, these guys are the best. They're ready to be in a big- Look at how much they've eaten from oh these Oh my gosh, carrots. I didn't realize they actually ate the food. Yeah, they ate the carrots. Look at They that. all froze, they're scared. <gasps> cool, so you can just put the, the, these guys in there as best you can. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them right here. Okay. Good. I'm pretty sure I got them all out we of that. Wanna it's easy to save see. this leaf right here. Cool. I'll put a little more water on that. So There's our boys. There they are. Look, he's running. <laughs> he's on a mission. 
Cool, and now it's bioactive. Says, oh, look at all this garbage I've got to yeah. clean up. It already was bioactive, but now it's like super bioactive. It's yummy. It looks really good, Mom. All right, go for you it. You did a good job, Ashley. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for trusting me. I do trust you. I just also have questions as we go. So I'm sorry <laughs> if there were too many, but we got the leaf. through it. So good. This leaf. Can I say he said that I'm done. when I was a little girl, we would we lived in Colorado, we, we would go around and lift up rocks and look for roly poly. We did that in Dad's shed in Aloha. We didn't know they had a name. Yeah. We, just, we just knew there were. There, I suppose place. a bunch of them are all rolled up. <laughs> They're so scary. <laughs> like, that <laughs> tricolor looks really good. Oh my gosh, all the plants look so good, Mom. Did I get all the soil off all the leaves? Yeah, you did good. Good job. Oh my gosh, look at the EpiPen. It looks so good. <laughs> You'll have to remind me the names. Oh, it looks so good. I'm very oh, happy. It's amazing. Happy, happy, happy. It looks so good. So now's a good time if you wanted to grab a washcloth and like wipe what about down. The moss? Um. I got a lot of perlite in the moss. Let's just save it. I'll rinse it out and then you can add it later. But we, we gotta wrap this up. We've been doing this for two hours. Look at him. <laughs> I would get a bioware if they didn't have this. This is weird. This like it's not. Oh, this just comes off the top. Yeah. I just thought it was on a hinge. So they have, so you just literally set this into its. Yep. Piece after you fill it, it's supposed to just kind of rock backwards, but it's not doing that. I don't know. It's a different design. But I'm gonna fill with water after we plug it in, and then we're gonna hopefully see misting. All right. It's nice to have a new piece. I think it's so fun. Everyone loves that you still have a bio orb. People were like, "Your mom still has her bio orb," and I was like, "Yeah, she's not getting rid of it." I think people just thought it was like a fad. I get so many comments on this. People walk in who've never seen plants before, who've never seen indoor plants or appreciated a terrarium, and they literally stand there and stare at it. And, yeah. And I hope, I think some people what? have gone oh. on to get bio orbs. You know. <laughs> That's where I keep my lipstick. You it's going to be heavier now because it's wet. Oh my lord, Jesus. Yeah, it's Sorry, a lot heavier. I say that respectfully. What? Get you a mom who apologizes for taking the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Look at my shell, Ashley. Yeah, you turn it so on. Right, where to put everything? Turn it Thank on. You. All right, you're gonna cry. It. It's gonna be so pretty. You just, from what I remember, you just open this. Ooh! Look mm -hmm. at it. It looks like a scape, like an actual. There's scape. the look at the bugs back there. Yeah, they're hanging Look at out. them. This is why, this is how it's easier to see. Yeah, everything looks so good. Oh, it feels so like, like it feels before. like when you go and get like your Haircraft. closet clean. Well, look like, at the freaking epipremnum. It looks so good. This is so much better. It I'm looks never gonna let that grow big in the middle again. Just keep it small. It's really nice when the begonias get really big like that, but it's also, you know, takes I up a lot of space. I didn't know I could cut it. <gasps> oh, he's, he's doing tricks. Where, which The one? guy in the back, he stood up on his back two feet. <gasps> Oh, he's doing tricks. Now that one's burrowing. Yeah. <laughs> They're hanging out. I'm excited for my shell to be visible. Yeah. I've loved, I've Honestly, loved. the back part looks really good back there. I'm the excited thing for that really tall good. begonia. What is that one called, honey? I don't even know. I forgot. Wow, mom, it genuinely and looks amazing. And here's something you didn't know that I learned. Okay, what's um the, the new guy's name that works at Clarefield? Jay. Clark? Jay. He told me these bugs, the really polies. I'm so sorry with my names. They like to have fresh fruit and fresh carrots. Yep. And he goes, just try to get them some carrots or some fresh fruit, drop them in there. And then you'll see they come up from wherever they're hiding and they eat it and then they go back down. Yep. I did not know that I could do that. So I'm excited to feed my little guys. <laughs> and then you close it. And now it should turn down, and I'm gonna hold this, and it's gonna turn on. And I have a lot of plants in here, so I want it to do its uh, th level three. So I'm gonna do one, one, two, one, two, He's doing three. Tricks. He is. You see that? He's doing it didn't tricks. really change anything, so we'll see if it. I, took... It got really bright. I know you didn't really see so it. So then but... sometimes it takes like. 
throughout the day, it'll go soft and then bright and soft and then bright. And it's supposed to do like a natural day, mm -hmm. like night and day. So sometimes it's turned off because it's supposed to be. It honestly looks so good. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna try to tell you guys what we have in here. We got a Mikan's, philodendron Mikan's right there. This is my mom's pink princess. She put in a really sad looking one like that, okay? Like so sad. It looks better because I took a couple of the weird leaves off. Um, but then it grew into that because it had humidity, okay? They need humidity. It's also Perego right now. We have a Restrepia species right there. We have uh, Epipremnum panatum albo variegata. We have a Lady Slipper Orchid right there, right there that has a better name, I just can't remember it. We have Begonia metacroa, which was way big. Uh, we have Begonia contrafolia right there, I think. Uh, I think that's Begonia brevier miosa. We got a Margravia species right there in the back. And then we got a Cream Splash that comes to right there. She's got a Gardenia growing right there. Another Plerothallus or Restrepia. Begonia, or er, Syngonium red spot tricolor or just red spot right there. And a philodendron adipocoensi baby right there. Oh, and then begonia soily mutata right there. I don't know which begonia this one is. We have a Mastides, which is it? It might be a Mastides lightning jewel orchid with a cakey on the top that I thought was a flower. And then two more cakeys on the floor right there. We're gonna have it missed. And then I'm gonna check back with you this evening when it's like, dark and we can get a really nice photo, I think. So this part of my bioorb, or mom's bioorb, <laughs> my, my bioorb. I'm so happy it is. Yeah, this part of mom's bioorb has not worked in months. It's and she's guys. waited for me to fix it. And it looks, I mean, honestly, phenomenal. That's awesome. You happy? I'm so happy. It looks way better now and Look at that mist. Yeah. And I That's I, the way it's supposed to be. I was here before. Look at it spinning at the fan. Yeah. I was here before, but last time I was here I had a medical emergency. So we didn't get to do anything fun. I mean that's fun. Your plants are gonna grow so I've fast. I never had the biorb like do the amount of mist it was supposed to do the first yeah, unit it was, was just not working right and I always thought it should have more moisture in there. What? That's all you. Look at you look at how much mist you're right, yours was broken. From the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. It's never done that much mist. It's supposed to fill that sucker up and really like make some moisture, like a terrarium. You're, you're gonna come back to so much new growth mm -hmm. from like your trip. Wow. All right, Let's so that go. we are gonna check back with you. Look, it's a little fishbowl. We're gonna check back with you when it gets dark uh, and we'll show you what it looks like at nighttime. So our dandy session ran long, but I wanted to show you anyways, even though everyone else was in bed, what the nighttime biorb looks like. There's always this fun reflection on the floor and I just thought it looked really nice. I found myself just staring at it so many times. It looks so much better. It looks so much nicer, cleaner, all put together. Mom went through, cleaned the glass as I'm sure you can see. And it just doesn't, it's not overtaken anymore by that begonia. So thank you guys so much for watching this video of me and my mom. And thanks for being here. Thank you so much to Botanicas, Kim Klinowski, and Lauren Alexandra for all the extra and continued channel support. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. Goodbye.